Have you ever wondered about the origins of homosexuality and how our understanding of it has evolved over time? If so, you're in for an enlightening journey. Today we're diving into the rich and complex history of homosexuality, a topic that has been part of human societies for millennia. From ancient civilizations that celebrated same-sex relationships to the modern movements advocating for LGBTQ rights, the story of homosexuality is one of resilience, diversity, and profound human connection. We'll explore how different cultures throughout history have perceived and treated same-sex relationships. In some societies, such relationships were revered and integrated into the social fabric, while in others they were met with resistance and persecution. This video will take you through the significant milestones and turning points that have shaped our current understanding of homosexuality. From the acceptance in ancient Greece and Rome to the harsh condemnations during the rise of Christianity, and finally to the vibrant and ongoing fight for equality in the 20th and 21st centuries, there's so much to uncover. So get ready to delve into a fascinating narrative that highlights the enduring presence and importance of same-sex love throughout history. We'll examine the scientific, cultural, and social factors that have influenced attitudes towards homosexuality and celebrate the progress made towards acceptance and equality. Let's get started. The origins of homosexuality have been a subject of fascination and debate for centuries, captivating scholars, activists, and the general public alike. As society continues to evolve, so too does our understanding of sexual orientation, prompting us to question long-held beliefs and assumptions. To truly grasp the complexity of homosexuality, we must embark on a journey that traverses history, biology, and culture. This exploration reveals not only the diversity of human relationships, but also the inherent struggles and triumphs faced by those who love outside societal norms. Historically, homosexuality has been perceived through varying lenses, from ancient acceptance to modern stigmatization. In many ancient cultures, such as Greece and Rome, same-sex relationships were often celebrated and integrated into social customs. The writings of philosophers and poets from these eras reflect a nuanced appreciation for love that transcended gender, suggesting that homosexuality was recognized as a natural part of human experience. However, the rise of monotheistic religions and subsequent social shifts led to a period of repression where same-sex love was frequently demonized. This historical dichotomy not only shapes contemporary attitudes, but also highlights the ongoing struggle for acceptance and understanding within different societies. Biologically, the understanding of homosexuality has evolved significantly, with research indicating that sexual orientation is influenced by a complex interplay of genetic, hormonal, and environmental factors. Studies in genetics suggest that there may be hereditary components to sexual orientation, while hormonal influences during prenatal development could play a crucial role in shaping an individual's attractions. This scientific perspective helps to demystify homosexuality, framing it as a natural variation in human sexuality rather than a choice or disorder. By integrating insights from biology with historical and cultural contexts, we gain a holistic view of homosexuality, paving the way for greater acceptance and recognition of the diverse spectrum of human identities. The history of homosexuality is as old as humanity itself. From ancient civilizations to modern times, same-sex attraction has been a consistent and significant part of the human experience. Let's take a journey through time to understand how this aspect of human diversity has been perceived and studied. Modern science has made significant strides in understanding the biological factors that contribute to sexual orientation. One area of focus is genetics. Research indicates that there may be a genetic component to sexual orientation, as evidenced by higher concordance rates of homosexuality among identical twins compared to fraternal twins. This suggests that genes play a role, although they are not the sole determinant. The complexity of genetic influences means that multiple genes, each with a small effect, may interact with environmental factors to shape sexual orientation. 
Another critical area of study is hormonal influences during prenatal development. Scientists have found that exposure to certain hormones in the womb can affect brain development in ways that influence sexual orientation. For example, variations in levels of androgens, which are male sex hormones, during critical periods of fatal development may predispose individuals to different sexual orientations. This hormonal theory is supported by animal studies and observations of human development, highlighting the intricate interplay between biology and environment. Additionally, brain structure differences have been observed between heterosexual and homosexual individuals. Certain regions of the brain, such as the hypothalamus, which is involved in sexual behavior, show structural variations that correlate with sexual orientation. These findings suggest that the brain's wiring and organization, influenced by both genetic and hormonal factors, contribute to the diversity of human sexual orientation. Together, these biological factors provide a more comprehensive understanding of the complex nature of sexual orientation, emphasizing that it is a multifaceted trait shaped by an interplay of genetic, hormonal, and neurological influences. In ancient Greece, particularly in Athens, same-sex relationships were not only accepted but also celebrated. The philosopher Plato wrote extensively on the beauty and nobility of same-sex love. In his dialogues, such as Symposium, he described the concept of platonic love, which emphasized the spiritual and intellectual connection between individuals, often of the same sex. This concept of love was seen as a higher form of love, one that transcended physical desire and focused on the pursuit of wisdom, beauty, and virtue. Plato's ideas on same-sex love were not isolated to his philosophical works. In ancient Greek culture, same-sex relationships were a common and accepted part of society. Men would often engage in romantic and sexual relationships with younger men, known as eromenoi, who were seen as objects of desire and admiration. These relationships were not only tolerated, but also encouraged, as they were believed to foster intellectual and artistic growth. The older man, or Erastes, would serve as a mentor and guide, helping the younger man to develop his intellectual and artistic abilities. The celebration of same-sex love in ancient Greece was not limited to Plato's philosophical works or the cultural practices of the time. It was also reflected in the art and literature of the period. The poet Sappho, for example, wrote extensively on the beauty and passion of same-sex love, while the sculptor Praxiteles created famous works of art that depicted same-sex relationships. The acceptance and celebration of same-sex love in ancient Greece serves as a powerful reminder of the diversity and complexity of human experience and challenges the notion that same-sex relationships are a modern phenomenon. Ancient Egypt also had a complex relationship with same-sex love. The story of the gods Horus and Seth, for example, includes episodes of same-sex desire. In the Middle Kingdom, the tomb of Nyanknum and Khnumhotep, two male scribes, features intimate scenes that suggest a romantic and possibly sexual relationship. Beyond biology, psychological and social factors also contribute to the understanding of homosexuality. The environment in which one is raised, cultural norms, and personal experiences can shape sexual orientation. For instance, the attitudes and beliefs of family members, peers, and the broader community can influence how individuals perceive and express their sexuality. Cultural norms and societal expectations can either support or challenge one's sexual orientation, impacting self-acceptance and mental health. Personal experiences such as relationships and interactions with others also play a significant role. Positive experiences can foster a healthy sense of identity and belonging, while negative experiences such as discrimination or rejection can lead to internal conflict and stress. It is essential to recognize that being homosexual is not a choice, but rather a natural variation of human sexuality. 
Understanding these psychological and social influences helps to promote acceptance and support for individuals of all sexual orientations, fostering a more inclusive and compassionate society. Across the globe, indigenous cultures have their own rich histories of same-sex relationships and gender diversity. In Native American cultures, for instance, two-spirit individuals were revered for their unique roles in society, often serving as mediators, healers, and spiritual leaders. These individuals were believed to possess both male and female spirits, making them highly respected and integral to their communities. In medieval Europe, the rise of Christianity brought about a significant shift in attitudes towards homosexuality. The church, heavily influenced by the teachings of the Apostle Paul, began to view same-sex relationships as sinful. This doctrinal stance led to widespread persecution and the marginalization of individuals who did not conform to heteronormative norms. The church's influence permeated all aspects of society, reinforcing negative perceptions and legal sanctions against homosexuality. Despite these oppressive conditions, same-sex relationships continued to exist, often in secret or within specific subcultures. These relationships were sometimes hidden within the confines of close-knit communities or expressed through coded language and discreet interactions. The resilience of these individuals and communities highlights the enduring nature of human affection and the persistent quest for personal identity and connection, even in the face of societal condemnation. This historical context underscores the long-standing struggle for acceptance and the ongoing journey towards equality and understanding. In the modern era, scientific research has provided valuable insights into the origins of homosexuality. One of the most significant theories is the genetic hypothesis, which suggests that there may be a genetic component to same-sex attraction. Studies have identified certain genetic markers that are more common in individuals who identify as LGBTQ+. These markers, while not deterministic, indicate a potential genetic predisposition that, in combination with environmental factors, may influence sexual orientation. This genetic perspective is supported by twin studies, which show higher concordance rates of homosexuality among identical twins compared to fraternal twins. Further research has delved into the complexities of how these genetic factors interact with other biological and environmental influences. For instance, epigenetic mechanisms, which involve changes in gene expression without altering the DNA sequence, may also play a role. These mechanisms can be influenced by various factors, including prenatal hormonal environments and early life experiences. By understanding these intricate interactions, scientists hope to gain a more comprehensive picture of the biological underpinnings of sexual orientation, moving beyond simplistic explanations to appreciate the multifaceted nature of human sexuality. This ongoing research underscores the importance of viewing sexual orientation as a natural and diverse aspect of human identity. Another area of research focuses on the role of the brain in sexual orientation. Neuroimaging studies have revealed that certain brain structures and pathways may differ between heterosexual and homosexual individuals. For instance, the hypothalamus, a region that plays a crucial role in regulating sexual behavior, has been found to exhibit subtle differences in size and connectivity in gay men compared to straight men. These variations suggest that the brain's wiring and organization, influenced by both genetic and hormonal factors, may contribute to the diversity of sexual orientations. Additionally, other brain regions involved in emotional processing and reward pathways have shown differences that correlate with sexual orientation. These findings indicate that the brain's structure and function are integral to understanding the biological basis of sexual orientation. By continuing to explore these neural differences, scientists hope to gain deeper insights into how complex interactions between biology and environment shape human sexuality.
This research not only enhances our understanding of sexual orientation, but also underscores the importance of viewing it as a natural and diverse aspect of human identity. It's important to note that while these biological factors provide a framework for understanding the origins of homosexuality, they do not fully explain the complexity of human sexuality. Social and environmental factors, such as upbringing, culture, and personal experiences, also play a significant role in shaping an individual's sexual orientation. The interplay between these factors creates a rich tapestry of human diversity, highlighting that sexual orientation is a multifaceted aspect of identity. Understanding this complexity helps to foster a more inclusive and empathetic society. By acknowledging the contributions of both biological and social influences, we can better appreciate the unique experiences of each individual. This holistic perspective encourages acceptance and support for all, regardless of their sexual orientation, and underscores the importance of creating environments where everyone can thrive authentically. In recent decades, the LQB Plus community has made significant strides in gaining acceptance and recognition. Pride parades, legal protections, and increased visibility have helped to challenge stereotypes and promote understanding. However, the journey towards full equality is far from over, and ongoing efforts are needed to ensure that all individuals, regardless of their sexual orientation, can live freely and authentically. Today, the understanding of homosexuality continues to evolve. Advocacy for LGBT plus rights has led to greater acceptance and recognition of diverse sexual orientations. This progress highlights the importance of education and awareness in combating stigma and discrimination. Efforts by activists, educators, and allies have played a crucial role in promoting inclusivity and understanding, helping to create a society where individuals can express their true selves without fear of prejudice. Media representation of LGBTQ plus individuals has improved, offering more diverse and positive portrayals that challenge stereotypes and foster empathy. As we continue to learn and grow, it is essential to support these ongoing efforts to ensure that everyone, regardless of their sexual orientation, can live with dignity and respect. In our culture, we recognize that same-sex relationships encompass a deeper dimension that transcends physical attraction. They are rooted in a profound spiritual connection and balance, which is essential for a fulfilling and meaningful partnership. This connection is built on a foundation of mutual respect, trust, and understanding, allowing individuals to grow and evolve together. A spiritual connection in same-sex relationships is crucial as it fosters a sense of unity and harmony between partners. This connection is not limited to romantic relationships, but can also be present in deep and meaningful friendships. It is essential to recognize that spiritual connection is not solely dependent on physical attraction, but rather it is a profound emotional and psychological bond that brings individuals together. We believe that every individual has a unique role to play in the world, and that love knows no boundaries. This means that same-sex relationships are not limited by societal norms or expectations, but rather, they are free to flourish and grow in their own unique way. By embracing diversity and promoting inclusivity, we can create a society that values and celebrates the beauty of same-sex relationships. Throughout the ages, Individuals from all walks of life have contributed to this narrative, leaving an indelible mark on our collective understanding of love, identity, and human connection. The ancient Greeks, as we discussed earlier, celebrated same-sex love as a noble and beautiful aspect of human experience. In modern times, scientists have made significant strides in understanding the complexities of human sexuality, shedding light on the biological, psychological, and social factors that shape our identities and desires. Meanwhile, activists and advocates have tirelessly worked to promote acceptance, inclusivity, and equality for LGBTQ individuals, often in the face of adversity and discrimination. 
Embracing our differences is a crucial step in building a more harmonious and equitable society. By recognizing and valuing the diversity of human experience, we can break down barriers and challenge harmful stereotypes and biases that have historically marginalized and oppressed LGBTQ individuals. By listening to and learning from the stories and experiences of those who have been silenced or erased, we can gain a more nuanced understanding of the complexities of human identity and desire. As we navigate this journey, it is also important to acknowledge the historical and ongoing struggles of the LGBTQ community. We must recognize the ways in which systemic oppression, discrimination, and violence have impacted the lives of LGBTQ individuals and work towards creating a world where all individuals can live freely and authentically without fear of persecution or marginalization. Ultimately, our goal is to create a world where love in all its forms is celebrated and valued. A world where individuals can express themselves freely without fear of judgment or rejection. A world where every person can live with dignity, respect, and equality. By approaching this journey with an open mind and a compassionate heart, we can work towards building a brighter, more inclusive future for all. In the end, just as there isn't a single way to experience being homosexual, there wasn't a single way to be homosexual throughout history, and honestly, there's no definitive guidebook for exploring the origins of homosexuality. These questions reflect the labels and understandings that are prevalent in today's society. Historians suggest that we delve into the myriad stories of individuals who defied societal norms, allowing their experiences to narrate their tales. It's crucial for both historians and the public to move away from the notion that homosexuality is a modern phenomenon. Instead, they should focus on uncovering and celebrating the rich tapestry of same-sex relationships throughout history. LGBT history is right there before us, as many scholars assert. By acknowledging and exploring these stories, we can better appreciate the diverse and enduring nature of human sexuality. This journey through history not only enriches our understanding but also fosters a more inclusive and empathetic view of the past and present.